the way from Barbara Watson toward the slot. He comes with a backdoor feed, wide open shot, missing the net was Kierstead. Back in front, it comes again for Berg. His backhand try misses the net as well. A couple of glorious chances for Chicago to go up by three. They just didn't have the finish to it. Madison has to go for a change after a quick dump in Kierstead. Long home run toss for Kearney. He tips it to Berg. Berg is oh. leveled by Cooper Watson. Smith covers and Berg is down. And Cooper Watson immediately challenged by Kearney to a fight and they will scrap. Boy, they both lost their helmets and they're swinging the right hands like Rock'em Sock'em Robots here. Cooper Watson just woke up everybody at this ring. With a thunderous hit on Mason Berg, the entire Capitals bench, and Chicago bench for that matter, to their feet. And for what it's worth, Berg is back on his feet now. That's a piece of good news for Chicago as Berg had his head down right through the slot, and Cooper Watson didn't miss him. Madison has had a lot of frustration over the last 24 hours or so. Cooper Watson trying to change things. For the Capitals, from a momentum standpoint, the hit does so. Kearney, admirable to stand up for his teammate there. Drop the mitts with Cooper Watson. Brandon Kearney now halfway or two-thirds of the way to a Gordy Howe Hattrick with a goal in a fight. But Cooper Watson, in laying out Mason Burke, and dropping the mitts with Kearney, seems to have awoken the Madison bench. See if this will have any impact to the momentum of this game as the referees come over to discuss the situation. Kearney really could be called for an instigator as he immediately dropped his gloves and Cooper Watson did spread it, was ready to fight whoever was willing to challenge him. We'll have to see if they gave an extra two minutes or if it will remain a final five situation. It's just the five and tens for each player, so no change to man.